Alright, hey everyone, and really, you know, happy new year and whatnot. Uh, I got tagged for this, um, you know, wants to battle um, kind of thing from Vipsis, which is um, a long time rival, as he said. It kind of feel the same way. He's from Finland, and we had a lot of great games against one another for quite some time in league content. And while I deviated from that, I would like. Um, I didn't enjoy it and definitely don't miss it and definitely battles against well, people like him that I actually been following for quite some time there there is a certain type of um, interesting values when you rebattle a person you know already is good and you try to level and one up one another I feel those battles are worth a lot more than you know your casual um, you just face this person once in a league so for Vipsis to recommend me yeah I'm, I'm honored I'm absolutely honored. So, this content is basically based on uh, seven questions that I want to kind of get to and based on the previous year, of course, of Pokemon. And uh, then after that, tag three people on my own that I want to see answer these questions. And hopefully, we can get something going with that. Uh, so, the first question is, and yeah, I'm being very lazy. I have the screen on this side. Um, the first question is, uh, what is the best Pokemon 2020? <sighs> I mean, it's not that simple. Um, I've Pokemon I really hate face off against and I think a rather complete um, time and time again is actually your Shifu, the single strike variant. Um, it has a lot to do with uh, the best Pokemon or the best wall breakers for any team right now are um, Stop by it, like Hydreigon can't beat it, um, most of the setup mods can naturally beat it, and it's just a powerful, tremendous threat. Though, I honestly think even Cliff Able do kind of like or the move teleport as a whole, like, really, really made a lot of Pokemon a lot better. So, it's it's a hard question. I think Single Strike or Sheaf is really good, so I would lean towards that, but I also would say the move itself teleport and the generation one Pokemon that could alleviate themselves because of that which re regenerates from what not new Magmortar with teleport is actually quite awesome so those are the things I, I'm kind of living with um, I think I'd be rather straightforward with that and hopefully you can guys appreciate that but yeah definitely your Shifu um, next question is um, what is the best video you ever made this year um, most looking forward to making Hmm. I mean, I feel like every Wi-Fi battle video that I actually decided to do when when my shift of work actually was turning around, I couldn't no longer focus on League content, nor could I make the other contents that require a lot more time. Little did I know, like the Wi-Fi content would actually what's what my followers and newfound followers were looking for. I felt I felt a niche that wasn't filled right now with the Wi-Fi content and uh, it given me a lot more reason to do that type of stuff. So I feel like every game that has included Pokemon that have been weird, such as recently Sceptile, uh, that week was actually kind of funny, uh, mainly because I used niche sets and I was just proud of when it worked and uh, more so when I fend off against people who are in theory better. Um, had a stronger team should be able to beat me yet I get some type of momentum and shift the game to my favor um, I'm not the best battler out there but sometimes you can just call the shots and hope hope you get something out of that and I feel like getting into that position more times than um, I might want to give myself credit for but most of the time I think I face better battlers that are falling short of things that aren't accustomed to use or face off against so I definitely appreciate lower tier Wi-Fi battles because they're so silly, and I love them. I actually think the Roar this week was kind of cool, um, with Arkovish, I think it was just great overall. Um, let's see, third question, what can the viewers expect from you this year? Same stuff, <laughs> basically, like as long as Corona goes on like the way it does, I feel the Wi-Fi content is probably the most consistent thing I can do. I really liked when I was collaborating with, um, um, I was gonna say the Frickster, but no, 
Damn it, what's, what's it called? <laughs> Finch. <laughs> Damn it, Finchinator. Um, I mean, I had a great time recording um, the um, Tapu Bulu vs. Rilla Boom, and I always want to go down, go back to the Who Was Really Better series. Um, but the Wi Fi content, yeah, it sticks. Though my hopes is to maybe not upload seven days a week. I think it's um, it's been an ambitious project, but it's finally catching up to me. It really does. But something I want to do is definitely upload like four battles a week. So basically, trying to get Monday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Um, Sunday seems to be the best day for me to upload. I think a lot. I, I get much more view on Sundays, and it seems to have a lot to do with. If I had to guess, that people are having very boring Sundays, because they are bo really boring right now with COVID and whatnot. I I can only assume, but yeah, Wi-Fi content as as usual. Um, really hope you guys provide what you want to see, and I hope that I can um, be as creative as you guys want me to. Because in the end of the day, like yeah, I made the content, but it's based on um, your your guys' wishes, really. Um, I mean, if I didn't have these like weaker Pokemon chosen and has some type of theme then sorry I would just be your average standard Wi-Fi battles I think that creation process really helped me out and helped actually a lot of things I do uh, to be a lot more fun not only for hopefully you guys but also for me because I have to push myself to thinking a bit more outside of the box than I usually do and I think those thought processes are also the reasons I get wins <laughs> as often as I do, it has a lot to do with the dumb stuff that follows and the shift momentum that is hard to catch back against a person that is hyper aggressive, such as myself. That sounded, oh yeah. Jentelogen, for anybody who doesn't know, you are not better than others. That's the Swedish law. You can be good, but you're most likely somebody just as good as you. Don't take credit for it. You aren't that good. <laughs> Let's see. Um, number four, is there anything on YouTube that made you feel really good this year? What? <laughs> is there anything on YouTube that made you feel... Is there something on YouTube that made me feel really... Uh, not that I know of, or... The thing is... If, if I'm gonna say something, I'm like the entertainment values has been rather high. Um, for better or worse, I don't watch, for example, Pokemon content myself. I do try to catch up with Pokemon. I do try to watch Finnish discussions videos. But besides that, I actually try to avoid Pokemon content, not because I think they color me, but rather I think our focus is so different. So. I usually watch like Aeons and this really discussion channels and leadership channels um, that makes me think a little bit more outside the box and try to learn, myself, learn educate myself in any way I can. And of course, you know, the Whiskey Tribe for anything that are, you know, clearly the, whiz yeah, I'll say Whiskey Tribe is probably the best part of YouTube that made me feel a bit more glad. Uh, seeing two guys who are so passionate about whiskey and um, really educate people of you know, oaking and um, the processes, the blending, you know, the things that goes behind it. And I think the, the, the tackle the rumors that are so important that I feel stuff I know about and try to uplift, such as like blended whiskey, aren't necessarily bad whiskey because they're blended. They're blended because they want a different taste, and the process to make such taste requires some type of expertise, while a single malt has to follow the same type of structure. Doesn't say the single malt is better, or the blend is being worse, but I definitely think people are gonna value blends because single malt is under such a high prestige. Um, so that, I think, yeah, the Whiskey Tribe is phenomenal. If you haven't watched them, you like whiskey, check them out, they're incredible, I love them. Let's see, um, the Crown Fundra or Alvama? I think Alvama, just as a whole, while I didn't appreciate your Shifu at all, I really liked Alvama's uh, meta. I think the inclusion of 100 more Pokemon, they weren't overwhelmingly strong, was um, 
I like that. I, I like that part a lot. I'm damn. Did I appreciate it? <laughs> it feels weird to say it, but quite honestly, um, Alabama was um, probably as good as it was gonna get. And the extra moves, you know, with um, the tutor moves, definitely changed the meta quite a lot. I think the inclusion of Crown Tundra never really shifted the meta more than you know the absolute best Pokemon from Generation Seven was now implemented into Generation Eight. And what did that mean? It meant that most of the guys that were really good in Generation 7 are just as good in Generation 8. And it just felt very one-sided. While good Pokemon of a fine level flying and ground type, for example, in Landorus. Um, I don't know. How did you guys feel? Like, Crown Thunder overall was a good game. And I liked the new Pokemon included. But I didn't include. I didn't appreciate the new 100 was included. I felt there was a very, very... Like, the power creep was quite steep. And it reshifted the meta quite a lot, and I don't necessarily think it was for the better. And also, Calyrex and its riding forms just... Jesus Christ, right? Let's see. Six. Name a smaller content creator that deserved much more love. No, not me. No. Nah. Nah. Huh. I mean, there are a lot, <laughs> actually quite a lot. Um, I always spoken very highly of Caddy and um, Jack or just me while, and I definitely like include them in these type of environment. Jack just me while is a person I known for nine years now. As we actually made Pokemon content since Generation Six, but always dropped in and out, and um, I think he's like rebranded himself three times. But he makes like such a good content, like high quality content and good editing that, you know, he blows me out of proportion. Um, and I just, I'm so overwhelmed by what he can do. And um, I appreciate watching his stuff because of his editing skills. And I know, you know, it's not his focus. I mean, nor is it mine, but you definitely feel there are content creators that are definitely above another league when they make content they're definitely of higher values they should have a broader following because what they do are at such a good level compared to the rest of us i think my content, for example is decent as best most likely not um i i, I don't know I, I, you guys know exactly what i feel there are people who make such a prestige great content but aren't having the following that represented and it just confuses you and for Caddy, I mean, he is a long-time friend of mine too. Known him since um, the, I was gonna say the Pimp Night dates, days, dates. <laughs> you know, we dated Ben and the Pimp Night. Now, really, um, since both of um, Pimp Night and I are, or he is Australian, uh, my father is from Australia. We kind of bonded um, as a casual players. And uh, we've always been like good friends. We can't talk about dumb stuff. While we're making content together, you know, we, we know about each other. And uh, I got to know Caddy through there. And um, when I was hosting rather, I was gonna say weak streams with just my webcam and recording Generation 6 content, you know, he was one of those people who were always coming back. And he always had great teams, great ambition. I remember his go go to being one of the worst things that ever happened to me twice. And um, now he's trying something out himself, and um, it looks good. It looks promising. I think he needs, um, well, he needs some training when it comes to editing thumbnails and whatnot, but the, the creativity and the sets are there. Like, what he does is really good, and um, I enjoy watching his stuff because he is not afraid of trying new grounds and actually be pushing himself, pushing himself to not make too um two safe teams to worry i can always lean towards maybe maybe if i need a laser train i probably choose kogo pin church and hit he take the pin church and route every time because he wants to be devastating guys with different pokemon that hopefully they can't like prep for so yeah those two definitely check them out i'm gonna definitely link them down below and the last one name no oh that, that was the last real question um, so now for tagging three people that I want to see do this. First and foremost, Finch 
you're up buddy you are absolutely up for doing this you are so screwed <laughs> you gotta do this um plus i really want to see his perspective of um not only as a content creator but since he is in the smoke and audio council there are certain like adjustments and responses he gotta develop based on his own experience no matter how the smoking environment is i think it's very clear that you know he is of a personal different opinion for most of these things it doesn't like he can go for the numbers but he can also have personal opinions about those very same numbers so definitely want to see finch side gotta do this man and just me well i want to see your aspect too being coming back for the first time with a new channel and um challenges you have been facing really um i think that would be very interesting just to get a real watch on then from the last person i don't want to do like vipsis and like yeah i'm gonna stop recording here and see who fits the bar no i have my first person planned maybe <laughs> ah, ah i gotta do it um i got to include you caddy um and it's mainly because I know you actually are facing off against a lot of randomized or he, he when he makes his content there are battles he takes from a randomized battle or just people he haven't faced like no discussion just here we go Dynamax and there are a perspective there I can definitely appreciate and I want to see how he levels about it and hopefully this also opens up his content a little bit more um, I, I want to see more personalized value of his perspective and that goes for jack too so with that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this type of content um tomorrow will be the next or last upload with the, the septile team and then we will be following a full week with absol that's gonna be tough thank you for that <laughs> anyway guys always happy new year and whatnot and you know as always stay cooler one i don't know why i did that bye <laughs>